KMIR News continues. A proposed land exchange with a local Indian tribe has many concerned about their favorite hiking trails. Will they be restricted? We'll have details coming up. Plus, people all across the country remember the legacy of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Here at home, hundreds march through Desert Hot Springs, and we'll take you there. Good evening. This is the KMIR News at 5, streaming live at KMIR.com. I'm Gino Lamont. And I'm Janet Zapala. Topping the news tonight at 5, hiking is a big activity here in the valley, and the area is teeming with trails winding through our local mountains. But there's some concern tonight about keeping those trails open. The Bureau of Land Management is proposing a land swap of sorts with a local tribe, and that has some people concerned tonight. Our Angela Monroe investigated. She's live tonight in the newsroom with the Tales for us. Angela. Janet and Gino, the proposed land swap would give almost 6,000 acres of public land to a local tribe in exchange for some tribal lands. But some hikers worry that will mean, that will mean they'll lose access to their favorite trails. For many avid hikers, climbing above the valley floor is a breath of fresh air. KMIR's Valley Pathfinder, Jason Brooks, has traversed these trails for decades. And I live and breathe and enjoy um, so many of the trails around here and um, continuously try to get people off their couches to enjoy the unique trails through here. The mountains fringing Palm Springs are a patchwork of ownership. The Bureau of Land Management and the Awa Caliente Band of Cuya Indians are looking to exchange land. Here on Araby Trail, part of the trail behind Bob Hope's house would change ownership. This map shows the proposed land swap. The yellow would go to the tribe and the orange to the BLM. But some hikers worry what that would mean for access to nearly 12 miles of trails. Some of the big concerns that people have been worried about is access to the properties that are the trails that are in concern. Um, some of the current concerns that have come about is whether or not they'll still be able to walk their dogs in those particular trails. On their website, the Agua Caliente say charging the public for access isn't feasible or practical. In fact, many of the trails are already partially on tribal land today. In that case, if that was to be true, they could have easily shut those sections down of the Skyline Trail many, many, many years ago. There is already a charge to hike Taquas Canyon Trail that is on Agua Caliente land. And what I've seen in the Indian Canyons is that the tribe has done an excellent job with their ranger program to continue those trails in great shape and is a good place to visit. Meanwhile, many people continue to explore the network of trails, stepping into the desert's natural terrain. Right now, it's a beautiful time to go hiking, and it's an opportunity to do it before it gets too hot. There's beautiful places out there to go. Right now, the public has an opportunity to comment on this land exchange. If you want to comment, you have until March 29th. You can email, mail, or fax the government. We'll post how you can do that on our website, KMIR.com. Live in the newsroom, I'm Angela Monroe. Back to you, Gino. All right, thank you, Angela, for that. More information tonight on an accident in India where a 41 year old pedestrian was, was hit by two cars and killed. Now, this happened just before midnight on Saturday. As investigators say, resident Raul Silva was crossing westbound on Calhoun Street when he was struck. One of the drivers stayed at the scene of the accident and cooperated with police, but the other vehicle took off. Police are searching for that driver tonight and his vehicle. The car is described as a tan, late 90s, four-door Toyota Corolla. Witnesses described the driver as a Hispanic male in his late 20s with a mustache. His passenger was a woman with long brown hair. If you have any information, you're asked to please call Crime Stoppers. The number there on your screen, 760-341-STOP. Well, if you happen to see a large police presence at the Palm Springs High School this week, don't be alarmed. Police and school district officials will be conducting a drill to practice their response in the event of an armed intruder. The drill is scheduled between 8 and 10 Wednesday morning. Emergency vehicles and personnel will be in view during the drill, which authorities are publicizing in advance so that local businesses and passersby will know it's only a simulation. And with the Humana Challenge in full swing already, the weather is absolutely what you want to see on the Golf Channel, which is going out all over the world. Perfect. Perfect, right? 
Everybody's going to move here now. Jeff Fox, as you wear the headlines. Yeah, th this is uh, definitely going to make us even more popular than we are. You can see our uh, general air live cam showing clear skies. We hit 80 today, uh, not on the course, uh, on the thermometer. 80 is good for us. It's bad on the course. It's good on the thermometer. I, I don't need to explain this. Uh, but the sun's going down, so uh, we're going to lose about 4 or 5 degrees an hour for the next three or four hours before it slows down. But an amazing week, as Gino said, a golfer's delight with lots of sunshine, low humidity, and mild temperatures. In fact, four, uh, well, right now, after highs near 80, we've started to slip down into the 70s. And we're going to maintain these clear skies. I expect our overnight low, upper 40s to around 50 degrees. And then a sparkling day tomorrow, the rest of the extended forecast. Oh. And a picture of those hanging around my house this weekend in a few minutes. Back to you. All right, Jeff. And just for the record, nothing wrong with an 80 on the golf course either. <clears throat> Today is Martin Luther King Jr. Day, the federal holiday honoring the civil rights leader. People all across the country and right here at home are remembering the legacy of Dr. King. KMIR's Stalia Hayden live tonight in the newsroom with the tales on a march in Desert Hot Springs this morning. Quite a turnout there, Thalia. There certainly was, Janet Gino. Organizers say they're extremely pleased with the turnout for today's Unity and Peace Walk in honor of Dr. Martin Luther King. The mayor says they will definitely be holding this march again next year. Because it turned out so well, they said they would continue with it. Hundreds took to the streets for this morning's march. It started at Desert Hot Springs Police Department and then ended at the First Community Baptist Church. The celebrations continued with a service, food, and cultural performances. Unity and peace was the message that Desert Hot Springs Mayor Adam Sanchez was delivering today. It was probably the greatest walk of my entire life. And the reason why uh, is because, you know, listening to people and listening to what they wanted to see happen and then actually have it take place is very heartwarming. And for this to happen here in Desert Hot Springs, this here is history by itself that this here mayor of Desert Hot Spring stood up and stated that he is for Martha Luther King. The symbolism of it and the call to community involvement in government and the policing we expect to get, I just, I, I think it's the message of Dr. King throughout his time and life. In addition to the march, participants also constructed the city's first community garden. So they'll have a special place to go to remember Dr. Martin Luther King and today's powerful march. Gino Janet, back to you. All right, thank you, Thalia. And today's national holiday, the official observance of Martin Luther King's life and work. The wrenching issue of police killings of African Americans became a main issue. Steve Handelsman has that story and the story about a march in Washington on this King Day. Hands up, don't shoot! Hands up, don't shoot! In Anacostia, two miles from the U.S. Capitol in Washington, 51 years after Martin Luther King challenged the nation, I have a dream. many said their dream on this day, after the death of Eric Garner in New York and Michael Brown in Missouri, is that police will judge by the content of character, not the color of skin. We still have a long ways to go, and we still have to fight for our rights and dignity for all people. And my message to black people, to African Americans, is we should be just as outraged every time one of us shoot one of us. Secretary of Homeland Security Jay Johnson was at the King Memorial. Hatred, violence, and poverty still inhabit our nation. And people marched against them today in St. Paul in Southfield, Michigan, and in San Antonio, Texas, and elsewhere. But Vice President Biden noted, compared to Southern cops in the 60s as seen in the movie Selma, most police today are far more fair. There's no reason on earth we cannot repair the breach that we've recently seen between law enforcement and minority communities. President Obama steered clear of the controversy, but on this King Day, Many Americans fear his dream is far from reality. I'm Steve Handelsman, KMIR News. All right, the News at 5 just getting started. Yeah, helping to give those with breast cancer a fighting chance. That's exactly what Bighorn Band Behind a Miracle has been doing for the last seven years here in the Valley, helping to save the lives of people here. And tonight, a look at Bighorn Band creator and breast cancer survivor Selby Dunham.
better place to live. You're watching KMIR News. Introducing KMIR.com. Tap into expanded.